Okay, ladies and gents, I'd like to welcome you all back to the channel. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to all the uh, new subscribers here. And here we go. We are now getting into uh, some Dark Souls Remastered. And here is my Big Hat Loki build. This build is actually set up at a 40, level 41 soul memory. It was uh, pretty challenging because most of my points went into my intelligence. So I can go ahead and cast that White Dragon Breath and the uh, Crystal Soul Spears. So during this uh, video, you'll see me using the uh, Big Hat Logan setup. I'll be wearing his armor. I'm carrying the, uh, a raw scimitar plus 10, a magic dagger plus 5, and I'll be using White Dragon Breath, Crystal Soul Spear, Soul Spear, and uh, the occasional Crystal Soul Mass. Okay, there was that first fight. Get to the second fight. We got a uh, partial Havel Monster streaking. He's just wearing his helmet, got his loincloth, and uh, the uh, Black Knight great, uh, Ultra Great Sword. I catch there with a uh, backstab that doesn't do any damage. He runs over here, catches a heal, and I gotta chase him down. I'm trying to nail him with this uh, White Dragon Breath, but it's not gonna work out. He's about to make a critical mistake here. He makes that drop, I drop down behind him, and it's game over for him. Nice job there, streaking there, Hobbit. The Hobbit streak. Okay, and uh, this fight here, this guy has the uh, Zyhander. And right there, he tries to hit me with that heavy attack. He's going to go for it again, and that's his fatal mistake right there. He's relying on that heavy attack. He's wide open for a backstab, and it is curtains. Drop those uh, crystal soul spears on him. He blocked the first one. And I uh, actually broke his guard, left him open. And I dropped the second one right in his face. When I roll up on this dude, something seems kind of fishy. Because uh, one of the tactics here, or strat, is to cast crystal soul mask before someone gets in. So it's actually invisible. So if I'd have rolled up without my shield up, I'd have blasted straight in the face. And it would have been curtains for me. There he goes. We got sorcerer versus sorcerer here. And this fight is over. Yeah, rope in the next fight. This dude had a code brown from the beginning. He's trying to run himself back to the uh, bonfire. And I'm just sitting here chasing down, trying to drop spells on his back. But uh, that spell thing ain't working out, so I'm just going to chase him down. As you see, I got my uh, magic dagger out for him. He's going to go ahead and pop another heal. I'm going to go ahead and drop another backstab. Try to hit him with uh, some white dragon breath again. I managed to nick him with some dragon breath. He's still got health. He's trying to drop another heal. And I drop another backstab. And it is curtains. Yeah, I gotta say it's a pretty challenging build since most of my points went into uh, intelligence. So I got base health, base, base endurance, so it was pretty rough in the beginning. As I'm fighting this uh, pyromancer here, he's dropping that serious chaos uh, fireballs. Just leaving behind that lava so I can't walk into that. Yeah, right here, trying to uh, aggravate him here with the crystal soul mask. I'm trying to drop that uh, white dragon breath. I managed to nick him. And here's what I love about the white dragon breath. He actually chased him down the wall when he made that drop. So he got wrecked as he made the drop. This is nice. Up here, I'm chasing this overleveled phantom. Got a little bit of my uh, crystal soul mask still going. I got my crystal magic weapon going. And here comes the move with the uh, scimitar. There goes the kick flip for the win. So I'm gonna run over here, engage the host, kick flip, and for the loss. But that's okay. Kick flip is nice when used properly. Yeah, in this clip here, this poor host is on this narrow, narrow little thing here. 
because it's not going to work out for him. Nowhere to go. He can't roll. Ah, oh, just bad news. Yeah, in this fight here, not too much to say about it. Come down here, I'm trying to gauge him. Now, right there, he should have known I was looking for a parry. He should have been kind of worked that out. But instead, he's going to give me a 1 2. He's parried, and it's game over. Alright. Now, going into this last final fight. This is actually one of my favorite fights down here in the catacombs. I got this guy wearing the uh, black iron armor, which is pretty good. And I gotta tell you, he was wearing me out for most of this fight. As you can see, I got like one S left. And then I got the parry. Finally, after whiffing so many parries, I get a parry. Now I'm trying to nail him with White Dragon Breath. He's not having any of it. So I'm gonna keep going after him. But he's been doing a good job this whole fight of dodging all my spells. So I keep going after him. He finally managed to pop his Estus, and we're back to melee again. Now this melee with him has been pretty rough because he has that Black Knight shield. Like I said, I'm using my raw scimitar, so I'm not really doing any damage if I ever do hit him, unless I got my crystal uh, magic weapon going. So I got a little bit of chip going with my uh, magic dagger, a little bit of chip damage, and then this happens. I get backstabbed. So now I need a clutch play. And to catch him with a parry, and it is good night. And hey, ladies and gents, that is it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all later.